Hi everyone. Time for the last pattern of the week. We're going to go to pattern focus. Get this one by, oops, come on, no, 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 that one. Tessie. Come on. There we go. Slowest phone. Don't get this phone. I'm telling you right now, don't get this phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy J7 or maybe it's not even a Galaxy. It's a Verizon something J7V or something. It's a terrible phone. I don't like it. Anyway. Grid pattern. I'm going to draw it without... I like the sample. See how the sample doesn't have all the grid lines in it? Um, I'm going to draw it with pencil like I just did this last one. See the... This one shows it with the grids. But I actually like it without. Like that, I think. So I'm going to just do the grid in pencil. So you're going to do the grid in pencil and then you're going to put a circle here, but not on every one. So you're going to do one, skip one, do one, skip one, and then down the other way. Do one, skip one, do one, skip one. Okay. And then we're going to put this sort of undulating, uh, bouncy V cloud like shape. It's like a V, but it goes boop, ba doop, boop, ba doop, boop, ba doop, diagonally one way and then the other way and the other way and the other way so we'll go all the way around with that loop de doop shape and it makes this and you could leave it at that that would be beautiful but they go a little further and we're going to go in those other spots put a circle and then we're going to do this shape and the reason you aren't going to go boop de doop it's because this is behind here you wouldn't see it okay so all you would see is this here you're not going to see all of it does that make sense so if if you were to draw this one here you would you would actually go actually you wouldn't it would be this way and this way so it's as if you had the square going the other direction it, this way but anyway you're not going to see everything you're just going to see this little bit like that and then you end up with flowers behind flowers like that I like it so let's get started try to get this done before I run out of light turn on my light ah, hate that part I'm gonna make a border that's a little bit less. Make it a little bit small today. I have a thought, but I'm not sure if I wanna do it, so I'm gonna just start this way. And then, um,
something like that. Okay, got myself a grid. draw this in a color. Let's draw it in blue. Why not? Because we can, right? So we're going to draw a circle here, skip that one, circle here, skip that one, half a circle there, circle there, skip that one, circle there, skip that one, Half a circle there, circle there, skip one, circle there, skip one, half a circle there, and then half a circle and a quarter of a circle. Something like that. Then we're going to go boop de doop. Boop de doop. Boop de doop. Turn my page. And turn my page. Okay. So there's that shape. And then here. I missed one. hardest part for me is the parts where you are trying to figure out what you would see when it's cut off. You would see a little bit of something like I'd see part of that. I'll turn it this way and you see this one. You'll see this one. You'll see part of that. Part of that. Right? 
great. I feel like something's not right here in this corner, but I'm not sure what it is. I think it's right, but I don't know. So I feel like I want to embellish these with a bigger center. I'll do something with my border too. Let's do some of this shape. that around like that make make the petals What am I doing? I don't know. I'm just playing. Because I'm pretty much done with the pattern. Now it's just embellishing and playing and enjoying yourself. Why not? Okay, and then I'm going to fill in back here.
I had a chalk pastel, I would use that, I think, to shade with, but I don't. So I'm going to maybe use my watercolor. time is it? Three o'clock. That's important to know. I've got to get going. i got to get down to the car dealer before five. So i got to get a move on because I don't know what the traffic's going to look like. Probably bad. that. So far so good. I want I want these to be a light just have a little bit of light blue like in the middle and I want these to be sort of a purpley color. So let me get my ink tints because those seem to work the best on this paper. And I go with this light blue. I'm just going to put a little bit of it right around the middles of these. Then I'll just activate it with water and pull it out. Is that all of them? Yeah. And then I want a purple, a deep purple here. Don't have to be super precise with it because the, the brush will pull out that color, but I do want it right on the edges. And right in the middle. Doing it on the edges because it would be overlapped, so you would have a shadow. Colorful week, hasn't it? That's okay. Color makes me happy. Just because you're doing patterns doesn't mean they have to be in black and white. I like black and white, don't get me wrong, I really love my black and white, but they don't have to be in black and white. That's the thing. I want a little bit of I need it need to sharpen this a bit, a bit sharper I want a little bit of this color
It's also a blue, but it's a different blue. Like that. Okay, let's give that a go. Let's put some water on there and see what they do. My little brush, a little dribble of water, get it wet, wipe it off, not too much water, and let's try this color. pretty. I'm really not drawing on watercolor paper. So it's not meant to take wet media. It's just plain old cardstock. But if you don't get too much water, if you're very careful with the water, you can put water on it. You just have to know that it's not going to react the same way as if you had watercolor paper. Paper is going to do different things. As long as you expect it, you can still do it. You just don't expect it to do what it would do if you were on watercolor paper. Okay. Now I'm going to do this light color. That's not doing much. That's alright. It can be subtle. I didn't put enough color. So it's really not doing much. That's alright. When it dries, it'll just be a subtle color right in the middle. It's okay. Okay. And then let's see what happens with the purple. Purple should go good. I'm hoping. Purple's nice. I'm good with it. I think this needs something else besides the blue. Maybe maybe around the edges it needs a bit of pink or yellow or something. I don't know. I'll think about it while I while I work. I'm gonna do a card. Let's do a card. Say something about policemen. I 
They have a very hard job. I would not want to be one. I'm not one. There's a reason for that. Yeah, that's a hard job. Oops, I forgot this one. Need that one to get wet so that it doesn't, so it has time to dry. Um, I think they sometimes can get a bad rap. Do I think that there are police that shouldn't be police? Absolutely. Do I think all cops are bad? No. They have a really hard job. I like those little purple ones. The blue ones feel not quite right. They need to be darker in the middle. And they need something on the outside. I don't know what. They need to be a little darker in the middle though. So that color wasn't good. This color was okay, but I don't want it to be the same color. Maybe I'll do this one instead. It's a different blue. Let's try this one to sharpen it though. Unless I have oh, my regular watercolors. Well, it's all right. No, we'll, we'll do this one. Go with bright blue instead of instead of iris blue. Try bright blue instead. See what that does. Actually, maybe I'll pull those toward the middle more. Color that middle part. Okay. See what this color does. Oh, that's brighter. Okay. That might not have been what I wanted to do either. That's more of what I wanted to do. Let me do it here. was it was this one get a little bit more of that dark in there because I wiped it all away ah, dropping things oh goodness sakes stay in the box but it still needs something on the outside what's it need folks yellow oh I missed some this darker blue, didn't I? I did. I missed these guys. Need something around the edge. I'm going to go with Something that's a really big contrast with the purple, which would be the yellow. Is it dry enough to put yellow? Yeah, okay. It's not dry enough, it'll make mud. I don't want mud. Throw a little of 
this pigment on the paper and see what happens. You know, I just noticed I didn't sign it or put the name yet, which I need to do. What was it called? Tessie. Okay, let's see what the yellow does. I'm almost afraid. Oh no, that's nice. Get a little bit of green there in the middle where it's overlapping the, the blue, that's okay. Nice and bright, cheerful, fun little flower. Oop, too much water. That one's kind of soggy. Not what I had in mind. Okay, that works. Try to dry it off a little bit because it does the color does change a bit when it's dry. But it's it's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, go dump out my water. I'm done for the day. You guys have a great day. I get to clean up this room and make it ready for guests. And so I won't actually probably draw for a week, which would be weird for me, but okay. You guys have a really great day. Have an awesome rest of your week. And I will, you will see me back tomorrow, even though I won't be drawing for another five or six days. So anyway, time to clean up. I will see you later. Bye-bye.